Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, doing a video today on a couple of things. Uh, number one, made it back from the NRA annual meetings, convention, whatever you want to call it down there in Atlanta. I came back, uh, I came back a day early uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, had pretty much seen everything I wanted to see. I obviously went to the ILA and, and all that good stuff and, and uh, had a great time. Got to see a lot of really, really cool stuff. Got to talk to a lot of manufacturers, see a lot of different things. Um, obviously got to see the wheelers and dealers down there and um, got to, you know, I was <laughs> pretty much within uh, within arm's distance of Donald Trump Jr. at one point in time with his uh, security entourage that was bringing him through the main floor of the exhibit area. That was pretty cool. Uh, obviously ran into people like Arlie Ermey and... Uh, there's other people that were there like Lou Ferrigno and Iraq Veteran 8888. Um, uh, also, James Yeager was there. Uh, the Hickok Boys, you know, from Hickok 45, uh, they were both there. Uh, gosh, just gobs and gobs and gobs of people. Uh, and, and a lot of people you watch on TV, a lot of people you see on YouTube, stuff like that. So it was really, really cool. It was a fun experience. It was my first one to be able to go. Um, obviously, whenever you go in, you register. I'm a benefactor member. Obviously, they give you your little tattletale ribbon, participation ribbon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it, you know, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Got to meet a lot of new people. Got to see a lot of new interesting things. And if it's something that you want to do, definitely need to check that off on your list and, and go sometime because um, it's a lot, a lot of fun. But that's not the real reason of why I'm doing this video is because the real reason why I'm doing this video is something that you're not seeing. It's a secret. Okay. While I was on my way down, um, me, me and one of my buddies that he went with me, uh, we stopped by a gun store out in Tennessee. It was called The Outpost. And just wanted to go in there and just kind of see what guns they had, ammunition, different types of stuff, what prices were from where I lived to, to out there. And uh, walked in there and went straight to the back because obviously I want to look at the good guns. And uh, what does my eye first catch is a particular rifle I've been looking for for nearly 15 years. And it's the type of rifle because I could have got other rifles or variants of this rifle and things like that but I wanted this particular rifle and it's it has eluded me for a very very long time and I finally managed to get one so without further ado let's go ahead and let's look at that okay well oh it's just a box so we're gonna do an unboxing video. I hope you guys are thrilled about that because I always like good unboxing videos. Okay, so they had uh, opened this one up and they, you know, removed all the materials and stuff like that, packed it all up for me, and it's still in the box from whenever I bought it at home. I haven't touched it. Now, that being said, you can see a couple of little things over in the distance. These, fun little story, real quick are two M14. These are actual M14 magazines. These aren't M1A. This is a Vietnam issue. This is an actual issue. And this was a Vietnam non-issue. So you could hear, hopefully, that one is a lot thicker steel. It was made a little bit later. Um, and you can tell by the spot welding and stuff like that. If you can get down in on that and you guys can actually see, you could see the different types of spot welding here versus the different types of spot welding here. They had a different method. Plus, the steel is just a tad thicker. It's not much. You would almost have to have a micrometer to tell, basically. But different type of steel. And, and plus, they this one still is parkerized, but it's had a little bit of wear on it and age. And this one hasn't seen so much abuse. This one is a considerably heavier magazine than this one. You can just tell by the sheer weight and then the sound of the ping. Okay? So, I picked those up a long time ago, about a year ago. And I got a really, really great deal from a guy here locally in Springfield. The, the guy that I always work with. And he was just like, hey, you know, I've got these two. You might like them. I knew I was going to get me an M1A. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's start with the unboxing. So let's go ahead and flip this up. 
and it comes with a very very beautiful bag here and uh, inside of here they obviously let's see what they've got in here they've got the lock mechanism that's in there um, they've got three different pouches I guess I assume for your magazines so that's a nice little nice little addition this is a nice soft uh, tack gear pouch uh, over here they have a little tack patch you could put whatever you want a morale patch or flag patch or whatever you want to do it's up to you if you don't want to do anything you don't have to okay so without further ado let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's have a look at this bad boy oh there she is ladies and gentlemen now let me be very specific about what this gun is this gun is the loaded m1a this is not the standard this is the loaded okay now i don't know a whole ton of specifics on these i do know that it's a different barrel i do know that it's a different trigger mechanism that's inside of the trigger housing so you have a match trigger you have a match barrel um and that's a couple of things that i do know in match sites um so let's go ahead and let's get this thing out let's why wait let's quit waiting let's get this thing out of here and let's let's have some fun with this all right we've got it loosened up i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to sit you guys back down and i'm going to let you guys have a watch at getting this thing out all right there we go all right let's turn this thing back around hopefully you guys can see me i'm going to go ahead and shut this thing on up and let's get you out guys out of the light i don't want you to have to stare through that light my apologies all right now one thing i hate about these i will i will gripe right off the bat i hate they send you a 10 round magazine come on send a 20 rounder really i mean don't don't cheap out and send me a 10 rounder send me a 20 rounder okay that that really irritates me as much money as you spend on these things and anybody you can look them up and you can go to springfield's website and go to one of their vendors and you can look it up obviously it's going to be different at a lot of different places but it seems very ridiculous to me that they're going to send you a 10 round box magazine whenever as much as you're paying for this oh yeah they send you this nice uh carrying case and all this other stuff they can afford to send you a 20 round mag that's just my opinion now maybe there's laws against that because they are made in illinois I don't really know for sure, but I feel like that's kind of, you know, BS, so to speak. So, I mean, 10 round mag, it's great for shooting at a target range. Uh, it's not really all that practical in any other purposes. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the real deal in there. Get that all the way up in there. There we go. All right. Now... There we are. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a beautiful thing? And you can see those beautiful match grade sights. It's on the front, or on the rear and on the front, I should say. And obviously you can tell the, the typical uh, compensator that goes on uh, M14 slash M1As. Extremely beautiful gun, very well made. Um, really a well-balanced gun to be honest because just ahead of the if you watch any of the marines training videos i highly recommend it get on youtube you can watch marine training videos on m14s watch them it's definitely a must because they show you how to hold them and what different positions and all that good stuff obviously there's another gripe that i have come on springfield really no sling I mean, I understand there's some people that probably want a particular type of sling or whatever. You could send a green GI sling for goodness sakes. I mean, I know you give people discounts and stuff whenever you buy these things to buy through the Springfield Armory uh, group of products and stuff like that. But really, come on. That's a little silly. We could probably do a little bit better than that. Come on, guys. So, but all in all, I'm not going to pick on Springfield too much because I love Springfield. I really do. For the most part, um, if you guys haven't checked out Never Enough Ammo's latest video on Springfield Armory and a potential bill that they're attempting to pass 
in uh, in Springfield, then you probably need to check it out. That doesn't really set too well with me, Springfield. You know, you're trying to choke out your competition and you're trying to do things. I'm not really too thrilled about that. It doesn't mean that I hate your products or anything like that. I love your products because I just spent a very large amount of money to buy one of your products. And I think it's an excellent product. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to gripe about it for a second. I'm going to get it out of the way. I don't like that. I feel like you're choking out the industry. I feel like you're trying to get a stranglehold uh, in